Right, in this uh, video we're going to do some <clears throat> some of the poisoning tasks. We got hot coffee, which we're doing now. Alright, so the big thing here is we're going to walk all the way through here, the roundabout way, to the far side of the map, where we're going to pick up the fugu fish. Alright, cruising right along. Alright, you'll see that the chef there is looking at the other fish. We slip in, snag the fugu fish, and cruise over here. Now, over in this corner, there is right next to that chef a chef uniform that we're going to change into. But we don't need to kill the chef, so we'll let him finish his cigarette. Slip in right behind him and get the chef outfit. What the chef outfit does for us is it allows us to get close to the king of Chinatown uh, where he has his coffee at. So we'll change into that and carefully walk on over to uh, the king of Chinatown here. All right be able to get right by there. He's going to go out for his lunch, so we're going to snag the evidence, poison his drink, and wait until he comes back. Fast forward it a little bit here. And there's the drug dealer. We'll deal a little more with him in Don't Do Drugs later on in this video. Alright. Do a little bit of chitty chat here. Cut we're standing here. Wait. Gotcha. So how much product are you talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> no problem. All right. Just uh, let me make a few calls. Uh, I'll get back to you in ten. He's I'll gonna go get the coke. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back in five. Yeah. We'll nice fast forward a little bit got. more here. Really nice. Is the business good? Huh? You know, I'd like to help you keep it that way. You know how you could help me help you doing that? By paying your bills on <laughs> By drinking your coffee, cocksucker. That's how that happens. Alright. Sip on that. Alrighty. And I'm going to go around the corner so I can hear you choking to death on that tasty beverage. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Choke! And we're going to nonchalantly walk our ass out the exit over here. Ready, pay no mind to the gentleman in the <coughs> chef's outfit with the barcode on the back of his head. Hey. And there's the exit. And we got a pretty decent score. Um, 269,100, not too bad. All right, our next one is let's do lunch. Basic same concept here. We're going to walk all the way through over to the far side of the map. Pick up the fugu fish. Basically using the same techniques as we used in the last section. Alright, around the corner, pushing some of the sheep out of the way. And this time we have to wait for the chef to move her ass. Do, 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 do. Move your fat ass out my way, bitch. Okay, there's our chance. Fugu fish is ours. We can go around the corner. This time we don't have to worry about the chef's outfit. I'm going to head straight for the stir fry. Just pay attention to the chef behind the counter there as soon as he turns his back. Sprinkle it. I'm not even gonna wait around to see see him choke to death on the fugu. I'm gonna go get in uh, position to uh, snag the evidence as soon as he gets it. All right. We have to sit and wait for a little bit because not only does he leave, we got Officer Blackman sitting there watching the entrance. And the drug dealer is going to come up here pretty soon. So we're going to have to be patient and just wait. 
it'll all work out pretty well though because as soon as the uh, king of Chinatown eats it the drug dealer basically just disappears or runs off or whatever so I turn around up oh, there goes the king of Chinatown I turn around all right drug dealer has gone Officer Blackman smoking his cig. Sneak right out. Snag my evidence. Walk right out. And once again, pay no mind to the bald gentleman in the suit as he slips out the exit. All right. Just a little bit further here. And there's the exit. And our score is 269, 100 again. The next one is basically four things. Master Poisoner, which is all three poisoners, or poison missions. Don't use drugs. And then Veiled Death 1 and 2. The big key here is you have to uh, step up your disguises. You get yourself a cop disguise first, and then you use the cop disguise to kill the drug dealer, and then get the drug dealer disguise, and then you basically kill the king of Chinatown. So I combined all those into poisoning uh, the king of Chinatown's drugs. So here we go. Got the fugu fish. And then I cruise over here to the exit. All right. As soon as I get close enough to the exit, two cops just like before. Uh, we'll walk over to the the food uh, vendor area where the king of New York eats his lunch and we got our roving cop here we'll wait for his uh, slow ass to walk away got plenty of time here plenty of time and we are gonna go ahead and choke out this orificer Right, we don't snap his neck. We don't want any casualties to the corrupt bastards. And we drag him over here. Put him in the trash can. And snag his, snag his clothes. Alright, first disguise out of the way for Veiled Death. Alright, now we're going to walk over here to the King of Chinatown's Pagoda. And that's when it starts to become a patience game. We'll have to wait here until the drug dealer comes. Up oh, there he is, right on time. And we'll wait here till the King of Chinatown comes back to talk with him. Right, it'll take a little bit of time, but he's gonna get what's coming to him here in a minute. As uh, soon as they meet, there they go. The drug dealer's gonna gonna run off to get his drugs, and we're gonna follow him. Right. Go through their little little rigmarole here. Yeah, blah blah blah, drugs, blah blah blah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he's on the move. We're going to follow his dumb ass to where he has his drugs stashed. Which uh, is actually not in his apartment, believe it or not. So we follow him down into this uh, little uh, downstairs area here. Right. Patience, nobody can see us. Pay no attention to the cop following you. Right, we're gonna go down here. 
And he climbs stairs like a sissy. And we're going to choke him out. All right. Steal his clothes. Dump his ass in the trash bin. And now it's back to the King of Chinatown with our second outfit, which is uh, a large part of Veiled Death number two. So by this point, we basically have completed Veiled Death one. All right. Now we're going to go up here and poison the lines of coke in the dealer's apartment. Um, you could basically do this after you rendezvous with the king of Chinatown. I just decided to do it early so I didn't have to race all the way up here and try and do it before he gets here. But there is time. Alright, so the drugs are poisoned. Let's go pick up the king of Chinatown. Alrighty. Walker ass all the way back over here. Alrighty, there he is, right on schedule. Just sit down, drink his coffee. Hey, how's it going? There we go. He stands up. Fine. Tell him we got some some of the pure grade glow back at the at the house. And we lead him back to the drug dealer's apartment. Alright, come on, asshole. You want some fucking cocaine, but you're slow as hell. Alright. As you can see, and like I said earlier, you would have time to run up there and poison the, the coke before he got there. But, eh, whatever. Me something here. All right, fucking loudmouth is still coming. And around the corner and through the door. All right, come on. And as you can see, there's a gasoline can over there if you ever need a gasoline can. Right, just gonna snort the fugu fish coat tail. <laughs> All right, hope that's as good for you as it was for me. All right, the last thing we need to do is stop by and get the. Get the evidence. Alrighty, there. That basically completed Master Poisoner. And Veiled Death 1 and 2. And Don't Do Drugs for all four of the achievements for that. And we'll stop by the Pagoda for the evidence real quick. And then it's off to the exit. Um, on a side note, I probably could have got a little bit better points by hiding uh, the King of Chinatown's body in the in the in the dumpster in his apartment. Eh, oh well. All right, run over.